Hi guys! So today we're going to do a makeup transformation. As you can tell by this fancy sleeved outfit, today's makeup is inspired by Johnny Depp from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean? Caribbean? Captain Jack Sparrow himself from the movie. He's very tan, has a lot of amazing facial hair, and today we're going to try to replicate this look onto my face as best as we can. Probably one of my very favorite characters Johnny Depp has ever done. I specifically used this picture of Captain Jack Sparrow as my reference because his stare is very haunting and it shows the most detail of his skin. So let's get started and see if we can do this. I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail. Try to make it a low ponytail because we are going to put on some type of fake hair later. And I'm putting a bandana on my head to get the hair out of the way so I can apply makeup evenly without getting it in my hair. Getting these sleeves out of the way as well and then putting down some tissue paper so I won't get any makeup smeared on my beautiful costume. This costume was very pricey. I didn't realize how expensive pirate costumes are. I got mine from a local Halloween store that's open year round but you can find yours online. Then I got some liquid foundation. This is my absolute favorite formula of foundation from the drugstore. Cover Girls 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous Outlast Foundation. This one is about three or four shades darker than my natural skin tone which is crazy. I feel like everybody in Target when I was shopping for this was staring at me like do you know that doesn't match your skin? And I'm like it's fine. It's okay. I feel like I got a really bad fake tan when I apply this on and I'm applying it on with my very favorite foundation brush which is the expert face brush from Real Techniques. I'm leaving my bottom eyelid very bare with no foundation on it because it's like that in the picture I had as my reference. I'm bringing that foundation down to my neck. You can actually make it streaky here because it'll make it look like there's different parts that are darker from maybe different sun tans he's had on the ocean. Now I'm getting a taupe cream contour color. This is from my Poise Cosmetics palette, which is my absolute favorite HD creams that are multitasking, that you use for concealers, maybe too thick of a foundation. Contour colors, anything. I'm contouring my nose first down the bridge of my nose to make it a lot thinner because Johnny Depp's nose is very much more narrow than my nose is. It's a lot longer than my nose as well, so I'm trying to give the illusion of having a manly, more thin of a nose than mine. And I'm trying to do Johnny Depp's signature amazing cheekbone structure by contouring the sides of my face. His cheekbones are like the male equivalent of Maleficent. They're just so gorgeous. I don't know if I can replicate that, but I am also doing some concealer to match my skin tone on my bottom lip because his lips are actually more narrow than mine are and I thought I had the most narrow lips in the world. That Johnny Depp pout. Using a baby beauty blender to blend in my nose contour. And this was the point I realized I forgot to powder down my foundation. That's why my contour felt like it wasn't blending well. So remember to powder your face after your foundation. Sometimes I find myself skipping steps when I'm doing a makeup because I get so excited about starting a makeup I'm really excited about. So I'm like, how do you do this again? Where do I go from here? I know how to do the steps. I just forget because, ah, oh, it's so exciting. So getting a darker contour and blending it with a giant damp beauty blender, really trying to make those cheek bones stand out. Johnny Depp has some very hollow cheekbones and powdering down that contour color with some translucent powder of course. Or we could use baby powder honestly. Just blending that contour a little bit more. You want this contour to elongate the face. I also use my Lunatic Cosmetics Lab palette of contours because it has cool tones and dark tones I can mix to make a contour shade that's really good for this fake skin tone of the darker foundation I applied on earlier. I'm also contouring under my lip as well where we are going to put facial hair later. Now I'm just getting some brown cream paint and shadowing in my lips. Johnny Depp has like this lip line that is very dark, has a darker skin tone than mine. So I'm getting a more warm tone brown, like a cocoa color, and doing my lip line and blending it into my natural lip color. And then I'm getting a highlight shade from my contour palette. It is just a light, not white, but light skin tone color and highlighting my nose and the center of my lip. You really want to look at your reference picture for this. And the sides of my laugh lines as well and under my eyes. Getting that micro beauty blender again and blending the highlights under my eyes. 
Now I'm just getting some red alcohol paint with an orange stipple sponge. If you do not have alcohol paints, you use a cream blush for this step. It will actually blend a lot better and it's a lot less dangerous than alcohol paints because once you get alcohol paints close to your mouth or eyes, it starts to sting a little and you do not want to hurt yourself. You can with this. So if you're not advanced in alcohol paints, please use a cream blush or a lipstick. Preferably one without sparkle in it unless you want a very glammed out pirate look. You can do that as well. But I'm trying to turn into Johnny Depp and he looks like he was burnt on his face from the sun, beaten down on him on his voyages on the ocean. So that's why I am using this alcohol paint to give him a more sunburned skin tone on top of his natural skin tone, around the eyes and on his cheekbones and a little bit on the chin as well. Getting some more contour colors, especially my Benefit Hula Bronzer and contouring my eyes. Now I'm getting an eyebrow pencil and making my eyebrows a little bit bushier and more closer together and closer to my eyes. Because Johnny Depp has very hooded eyes, he has a very masculine brow line. You don't have to do your eyebrows precise because we're going to hide most of it later with a bandana. But now it is time to do Captain Jack Sparrow's signature smoky eye. His blacked out eyeliner. I am getting a creamy eyeliner pencil that is good for my waterline. That skin that's way too close to your eye that feels like it's a dangerous game when you're applying it there. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes black liner and the Rimmel Scandal Eyes is my favorite drugstore liner because it is perfect for the waterline and doesn't smear. Even though it's okay if your eyeliner smears for this look because his very messy eye. And then I'm getting the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and I'm putting that on my lower eyelid and my upper eyelid and smudging it with my finger. The reason why I'm using this because it looks wet and I want his eyes to look very greasy and wet because that's what it looks like in the movie. You could use Q-tips instead of your finger, especially if you're doing this on a model and not on yourself, but it's my own skin on my own skin. I think I'm okay. I love how my pink nail polish looks with this pirate look. It's so girl and glam. Johnny Depp gone very feminine. I'm liking it. Now I'm going back in with that alcohol palette and a very thin paintbrush and doing freckle marks all over my face. This is going to give the illusion of skin damage and that's what I want. Getting my contour palette the darkest cool tone contour color and doing my brow bone near my eyebrows. Blending that out very well and a little bit on my nose. I'm trying to make my nose look like Johnny Depp's and I don't know if it'll work but I'm going to try our darndest. Put some contour color on the outer part of my nostrils. It will make my nose look wider at the bottom with the skinnier contour in between on my nose bridge. Just getting some brown alcohol paints and doing some scruffiness and dirt on the sides of our face and the contour. Getting a black eyeliner pencil and making our eyebrows even darker and bushier because his eyebrows are a lot thicker than mine and they go closer to the eye. Now that you think your face is starting to look like Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean of the Captain Jack Sparrow, you could put some fake hair on your face or I really wanted to make my own so I did that. You could honestly paint these on if you don't want to go through the process of buying a fake goatee or beard or making your own which was really hard. What it took to make this facial hair was two days of complete beard work, which means taking fake hair, blending it to match the wig I'm gonna put on later and to look just like Johnny Depp's. But I'm just getting some Telesis adhesive or use spirit gum or maybe some Prosaid and put on some fake hair. I'm just using some nail scissors in between to cut and shape the fake facial hair to my face because when I made these, it was on a mannequin's head and not my own. Once this mustache goes on, you really start looking like Johnny Depp and a completely different person. And I even made his braided beard. I individually applied these hairs, braided them, put on some fake beads. It was a completely insane process to do, but so worth it. And then I got his whole entire bandana with dreadlocks. I found this also at a costume shop and just tying it and positioning it to my head. And then I got my pirate hat. And once you have all this on, it's really gonna change your face shape and how your makeup looks. You might need to darken your contour because the black hair on top of your skin may make your colors on your face not look as saturated. So I'm just going back in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer to really contour the sides of my cheeks to make it look a little hollow with those high cheekbones that Johnny Depp has, or should I say Captain Jack Sparrow. And I dried my teeth off with a tissue paper and I painted my teeth with some tooth lacquer paint. I used some gross yellow colors and some black to make it look 
piratey and dingy like I've been drinking rum on an island all by myself for days without brushing my teeth. And when you think you're done contouring your cheekbones high to the heavens, you're completely done with this makeup transformation of Johnny Depp, specifically Captain Jack Sparrow from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. This is one of my absolute favorite makeups to do and most labor intensive and most expensive ones I've ever done. Buying the costumes, figuring everything out, Making the facial hair was so time consuming and tough, but it was so worth it in the end. I'm so glad I did this. It was very challenging, one of my most challenging makeups. I can't wait to do more makeups that's just as challenging, if not more. I hope you guys liked this, but now it is sadly time to take this off. I actually really wanted to go around town like this, but I didn't finish till like one o'clock in the morning. This took around two hours to completely apply to my face. Taking off facial hair can be very tricky. You have to use isopropyl myristate so that you won't rip your skin off with some of the beard, especially if you're using a advanced adhesive like Telesis. It is very hard and itchy to take off this fake crepe wool beard and mustache. But like I said, that's why if you're doing this and you want to paint on the facial hair, that is completely great and even shows more artistic ability with paints. Taking off alcohol paints can also be tedious because you have to use alcohol to take off alcohol paints and put them on. Very odd. But all the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. Please leave me a comment on what other celebrity makeup transformations you would love to see me do. I would love to try new ones. And you can follow me on Instagram and post pictures of any makeup transformations that you have tried that I've done on my channel so I can see them. Tag me in those pictures. I love interacting with you guys. And I love you all. See you soon. Bye.